Assalamu alaikum. Dear student, today we are going to start Cell Cycle. Cell Cycle is uh, a series of event in which a cell continues to divide until it completes mitosis. It contains two phases. The first one is interphase and the second one is M phase. Interphase is a preparatory phase and M phase is a dividing phase which contains either mitosis or meiosis. Interphase contains three phases. The first one is G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. And uh, in G1 phase, the number of organelles of a cell increase, the cell size increase, and enzymes which are necessary for S phase actually synthesized here. And about 90% of a cell spend its time in interphase. And here you can see on the screen how the cell synthesizes its organelle and how the uh, size of the cell increase. In uh, S phase, uh, the synthesis of the DNA uh, will be done, or DNA replication or DNA duplication will be occur in S phase. But before that, in G1 phase, as I uh, have described before, a uh, few things uh, need to happen before it enters into S phase. Here you can see the different organelles which, which are going to uh, double uh, because when a cell will be divided into two, all the things uh, could be same for both cells. So uh, for this aspect, cell need to duplicate. It's all the things, it's all the organelles inside. In S case, the uh, DNA which is present inside the nucleus will be doubled and uh, 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 the things and the enzymes and the proteins uh, which are required for S phase actually already um, uh, synthesized, already uh, transcribed in uh, G1 phase. After that, the cell will be entered into G2 phase. G2 phase, uh, why we call G1 or G2 phase? G2 is actually the gap 2 phase and G1 is a gap 1 phase. Here you can see on the screen the centrioles, uh, which are uh, collectively called centrosomes, uh, also get duplicated, which are required for M phase. Uh, in synthesis phase, it actually uh, takes the responsibility of duplication of DNA. Then the cell will enter in G2 phase. Here are cer uh, certain circumstances uh, which are takes place in S phase. Then after S phase, the cell enters into G2 phase and in G2 phase, all the things which are necessary for M phase will be done in G2 phase. Especially the organelles, number of organelles, the centrioles uh, will be doubled and uh, it prepared the cell, it prepared the cell for mitosis and cell grows more inside. And uh, then cell will be entered in M phase and M phase could be mitosis or meiosis. It depends upon the situation of a cell, either it occurs in germ cells or in somatic cells. If it will be in somatic cells, definitely it will be mitosis, and if it will be in germ cells, definitely it will be meiosis. Then uh, a very important uh, G0 phase, what is G0 phase is actually, uh, G0 phase is a non-dividing phase uh, when a cell is not going to divide then a uh, cell uh, enters in g0 phase and uh, uh, it could be entered uh, due to some errors or uh, a cell could be entered in g0 phase when uh, which is not dividing permanently or maybe temporarily endurance of cell in g0 phase depend upon intrinsic as well as extrinsic factor for example resource availability and nutritional deprivation when there will be no uh, nutritional uh, nutrition or nutrient cell uh, will not divide and it will rest in G0 phase. And this is called resting phase. I hope you understand the lecture. In next page, uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, we will discuss about the um, 
mitosis and meiosis how it takes place.